Here we're going to solve some exponential equations that have common bases using the one-to-one -one property. So the one-to-one -one property is right here. If we have the same base with an exponent equaling the base with a possibly different exponent, if the bases are equal, then the exponents have to be equal even if the exponentials aren't there. So in the following examples, we can use this property by getting the same base on each side and then setting the exponents equal to each other. Let's think about a number that could be a base of both 9 and 27. The number that comes to mind is 3 because 3 squared is 9 and 3 cubed is 27. So we can rewrite the left side as 3 squared, but it's 9 to the x power, so that's going to have to be 3 to the 2x power, because we changed the 9 to 3 to the 2. And the other side, instead of 1 over 27, we're going to change that to 1 over 3 to the 3rd. Well, another way to say 1 over 3 to the 3rd power is by going to the negative third power. That gives it the reciprocal. Okay, now that we have the same base of 3 on each side, we can use the one-to-one -one property that says 2x must be equal to negative 3 if this statement that these two exponentials are equal is true. They have the same base. The exponents must also be the same. So if 2x equals negative 3, then x equals negative 3 halves or we could do that as a decimal, negative 1.5. And that's the solution to our equation. Here's another one. 2 to the 3x equals 16 to the 1 minus x. Well, 16 can be rewritten as base 2. Base 2 is already as small as it can go. So 16 would be 2 to the 4th power. 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8 times 2 is 16. But our 16 already had a power of 1 minus x. We can't forget about that. When we have a power with a power, we multiply those powers together. So that would give us 2 to the 4 minus 4x power. Okay, we have the same base on each side. So the 1 to 1 property says we can set the exponents equal to each other. So 3x equals 4 minus 4 to the x. We simply change the equation from an exponential to just a linear equation by getting rid of the bases of the exponents. And we can do that simply because this would not be equal unless those are equal. So this is no longer the same equation, but it's going to have the same solution that this equation has. So we want our x's on one side. We're going to add the 4x to both sides. So 3x plus 4x is 7x, leaving 4 by itself on the right. Then we just divide both sides by 7, and our answer is 4 7. 